let's play now with the trigger so the um, we got the uh, selected 10 million point five millisecond for the entire window uh, per division um, trigger was on the analog channel but we we got many other options we could trigger on the uh, any packet that is in there so let's activate the uh, external not the external but the event table on so what's the content of our packet we trigger on the beginning of the packet and we got all those information so we got address 60 followed by two data address 60 followed by one data and uh, the other device 62 and three byte of uh, data after that so there is a write there is a read there uh, we could trigger anything we want uh, uh, except one thing I will show you um, trigger let's trigger let's say on the right at the at the read that you have you have 60 followed by the zero data what you could yeah, the scope is slow instead of edge trigger i square c trigger you have to put the corresponding uh, traces let's beginning with the start of the packet first i know what to do with those level they are by default um noise reject i've not tested it uh, but doesn't seem to be needed uh normal let's do that and uh, let's do uh, uh let's start the thing so it basically trigger the same place the coding is the same let's try to trigger on something else we could trigger on the stop um again doing this and to prove you i will do a force trigger and then reset so here's the trace if we zoom on it it's well i should zoom on it it would be easier to show so i'm not triggering on the start of the packet but a little bit to the uh let's move this again this label so it, the stop of the first packet there are a lot of packet but the first packet is uh, is over here uh we got a little bit of, of set uh, there sometimes it has difficulty to start itself so we are triggering on the stop of the first let's trigger on the read on the address 60 read so address 60 we got a lot of write at the beginning but let's find the re uh the address 60 over here eggs hexadecimal reading uh again normal so it will be a little bit further right uh, again force trigger to prove that it's capturing something and triggering at the right place reset the board and now we are a little bit more further away and uh, at uh, you could look at the timing so it trigger on the re somewhere here so every packet after that is in positive time and everything before that is uh is is at the left part of the display you could zoom on it uh, let put the trigger at the center and slowly zoom until we reach the read so read 60 was there so at the end of the read it it got the information read and 60 was encoded in this part uh let's do that again with something a little bit more complex let's move back to two may second what do we have in this packet that we could trigger on so we could trigger on read 
at the address we could also trigger on read or oh, let's say write uh, write 60 0 I got a write 60 with 0 0 and 10 we could trigger on this one let's say F E 0 3 let's try this one write address 60 on the packet F E 0 3 well the data so we want to capture a write we want to have not only address but also data two byte um, where do I have a representation so switch to eggs for the representation that was the last packet that I was capturing of course I preparing this before showing to, to showing it to you so two byte uh, payload containing FE03 uh, a write instruction to the board address at 60 um, how many protocol but right now I'm only 7 bit so let's do that so it will be further down the scope again force trigger to erase everything and then reset the board so it got the portion of the packet let's go further down let's say we want to find a right at the address 62 with 3 byte 4002 let's try this one oh i see. oh there is a force button here i could do that over here so instead of 60 we want to be at 62 if i remember well and let's rotate that 62 we want to capture uh, uh first we need to set three bytes three three as in three and uh, it was something like 42000. Okay, so it will only trigger if it finds this data on the right address to the board uh, at 62. Uh, noise reject, forget about that, but this should correspond to something. If I didn't mistake, was it 40 or 42? I don't remember. I think it's 40. Uh, let's change that to 40. Okay. Try again. Trigger. You set the board. Oh, it's trigger, but now the display is at the end, so I have to move it over here. The end complete end of the packet so that is in the 400 kilohertz uh, part of the message so address 62 four zero 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 and that was a right instruction so we are able to capture or trigger at the end of the packet over here now something that does not work uh, we got successful triggering on the one byte two byte three byte but five byte uh, it's not working uh, and i don't know why so we could select anything over here uh, i guess i will put that into a different uh, video